hi guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to download install and configure tamox application on your android device so basically tamox application is a free and open source um, terminal emulator that allows you to run a linux like operating system on your android device so in order for you to download tamox you can get it from can get it from fdroid.org so just open your browser then type in fdroid.org then hit enter so once it opens the page just scroll down to the find apps box click in then search for termox then click on search so it will give you a list of options so scroll down till you see termox then click on termox then also scroll down scroll down yeah so this is this is the app so click on this download apk 97 tgp signature so i already have it installed on my i've already downloaded it previously on my phone so i don't need to download it again so i'll just go to where I, where i have downloaded it and install it so i have it here so this is the termox apk so i'll click on it and i'll install so it is installing okay so it has installed so i will click on open so it will open it so this is how the termox application looks like so let me clear this, this screen first so i will type this command clear then press enter so it's going to clear the screen so the first thing you need to do is to configure it before you use it so to configure it you need to run a few commands so the commands to run i will leave in the description of this video so watch out for that so the first command you need to run is apt get update and apt get upgrade then give it the option y then hit enter so it's going to start it's going to start updating and upgrading so it's a, it has started updating okay the update failed so i guess the reason why it failed is because because of the repository is trying to download the update from so if you have this error when you are trying to update and upgrade all you just simply need to do is just change the repository where tamox is trying to download the of this from so to do that use this command um termox change repo then hit enter so you will get something like this then click on ok so once you click on ok it's going to display this so what you need to do is just change the repo from this default repositories default host change it to any one of these other ones so change it to these mirrors by lib liberhart this one then click on ok so after you've done that it's going to display something like this yeah now let us now try the update and upgrade command again so i will just use the up button to go back to my previous command so i will hit enter again so as you can see it is now updating and upgrading okay so it is trying to install the package so it's asking me if i want to keep my current version or i want to install the package maintenance version so i want the package maintainer the package maintenance version so i'll press y and hit enter okay so it's also asking me the same question also it's asking me if i want to keep my current version or i want to install the package maintenance version so i want a new version so i'll press y and hit enter also so the same thing you press y and hit enter the default action is to keep your current version so i want the package maintenance version again so i'll press y then hit enter so if you continue updating and upgrading so just give it a few moments to complete so now it is done once it gives you this dollar sign back it means it is done 
so we have successfully updated and upgraded it so i'll clear the screen again so the next thing to do is to install text editors and there are two main text editors that are that alx allows the first one is vim and the second one is emacs these two packages they basically do the same thing they allow you to create text create and edit text files but they are different in the sense that the commands that is used in vim is different from the one used in emacs and also emacs is a more robust text editor compared to vim so we are going to be installing the two of them so let's start with installing vim so to install vim we use the command pkg install vim then you hit enter so it is telling me that it needs to get 5.7 mb of archives so after this operation 30.3 mb of additional disk space will be used so i want i want that so i'll press y then hit enter so we're going to start installing so it is done installing now the next thing to do is to install emacs so uh, to install that we also do pkg install emacs then i will hit enter so it's asking me that it needs to telling me that it needs to get 37.0 mb of archives so i want that so i'll press y then hit enter so it's going to start downloading So let us give it a few moments to complete the download. So it has downloaded now it is installing so the installation is complete so the next thing to install is open ssh so what this open ssh does is it allows you to log into another terminal using your ssh key and password so if you don't have this open ssh installed on Thermos, you are not going to be able to log into other terminals so to do that I will just do pkg install open ssh then you hit enter so it needs to get 2.5 mb of archives so press y then hit enter so it's going to download so it has downloaded now it's installing so it has installed open ssh so the next thing to download and install is git so git allows you to use your git use github on termox it allows you to use your github account on termox so to do that you just do pkg install git then hit enter so it has downloaded so it has already installed git so now we've successfully updated and upgraded we've installed two text editors we've installed open ssh and we've we have installed uh, git so i think the next thing to do is to install clang so clang is a compiler a c language compiler it allows you to compile your c source codes so you just do pkg install clang so i will hit enter so it said it needs to get 66.2 mb of archives so why then hit enter so it has downloaded now it is installing so it has installed so those are all the basic things that you need to download 
and install to set up your Tamox application. So now the next thing to do is to now show you how to link your web terminal, your Tamox to your web terminal, or how to log into your web terminal from your Tamox app. So you just go to your browser, then open your open your open your intranet, log into your intranet. So let's log in. So I'll go to sandboxes. Okay, let me use this account. Let me use the other one. So I'll go to sandboxes. So I'll click on SSH, this SSH button. So once you click on the SSH button, it automatically copies your SSH key. So I'll go back to Termox app, then I'll long press, then paste it, then press enter. So it's asking me if I want to continue connecting. So yes, you type in yes, then press enter. So it's requesting for my password. So I'll go back. Then I'll click on password so it will automatically copy the password. Then I'll go back. Then I long press. Then press paste. Now it's not going to show the password you pasted for security reasons, but it has already pasted. So you just press enter. So it's going to log you in. So you can see I'm already logged in as the root user. So if I press ls, so you can see all my files in. So this is how you download, install and configure the Thermox application on your phone and this is also how you link your Thermox application to your web terminal. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel.